Hello, hello! My name is Callista and welcome back to Life is Strange True Colours. In the last episode, Gabe gave Alex his old apartment, they rocked out and someone started banging on their door. Who is it? Well, let's find out. Just give me a sec. Yeah! Hey, Mac. Can I help you? Something's wrong. I read Riley's phone. I know you've been meeting with her behind my back. It's not what you think, Mac. Oh, good. Because I thought you were fucking my girlfriend. Dude, I promise you've got it all wrong. Tell me why I shouldn't kick your ass <sighs> right now. No. No, 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 not here, no, no, not here! It's not my place, man. You really need to talk to your girlfriend. I'm talking to you! I didn't... It's okay. He's just a fucking psycho. You a bitch. You could both go fuck yourselves. I'm so sorry. Don't worry about it. Fuck. Wait, Gabe. Alex. It's fine. I gotta go stop my shift. Great. I mean, you went a bit too far, but he was asking for it. I'm okay. I'm okay. I'm okay. I guess I might as well unpack. Now, this this is where, if I were you, Alex, if I were you, darling, I would blame it on, like, oh, well, I, I was constantly getting into fights in foster care. I had to learn how to, how to defend myself and just seeing him, like, kicking you, I, I just flew into a rage. Like, that's, that's where I'd try and kind of, you know situate myself that I, I don't know what Alex is gonna say to Gabe I mean I, I'm sorry just I 
okay, I I understand that Mac is pissed that Gabe is spending time with Riley. You know, he thinks they're having an affair. Okay, I... If you think your girlfriend is having an affair, why don't you go confront your girlfriend? He shouldn't go and beat up his girlfriend. He absolutely shouldn't do that. But your girlfriend is the one who is in a relationship with you. Go and ask her, hey, are you cheating on me? Like, I... It, it's a very common response. It's a very common response. Like, oh, my partner is cheating on me. It's the affair partner's fault. They seduced my partner. No, you just picked a shitty partner. You picked a shitty partner. It's not on the... It, it's not on the mistress. It's on the person you got with. They're the one cheating on you. They're the one you should be pissed at. I'll have to unpack sooner or later. Might as well do it now. Yeah, okay, but I, I want to talk. I want to talk about my thoughts. I want to talk about my feelings. <laughs> like, it, it's understandable that he'd be angry at Gabe, at Gabe. It's a very common response. But I'm just like, why aren't you going and talking to your girlfriend? The one who is in an actual relationship with you. Don't go to her with that same energy. Don't go to her with the like, oh, I'm going to beat you up. Like, don't do that. Don't do that. But like, she's the one you should be sitting down for a conversation with. You shouldn't be going and beating up Gabe. I, I, I'm sorry, just like, he punched him, he flung him into a table, he was kicking him. And this, this little petite lass comes and beats him up and he's like, oh, she's a psycho. Like, you stormed into someone's house and beat them up. Like, I'm, I'm sorry, it's not, I'm, I'm sorry, if she's a psycho for defending her brother, what in the gods, like, what, what the fuck does that make you? What does that actually make you if she's a psycho for defending someone? Well, I, I just, I... She went too far. She got, I, here's, here's the thing, like, it just consumed her. It consumed her. She ceased to have control over herself. She just went after him. She shouldn't have hit Gabe, but she was the... She, she just wasn't herself. That isn't exactly an excuse. Because I'm, how many people who beat their partners? Oh, I wasn't me at the time. It I wasn't don't even me. I remember what I packed in my bag. Time to find out. Yes, I know. I know. Again, <laughs> again. Let me have some time. I think we have. Da da da. Yeah, we have. We have some. Oh, memories. Okay. Um. I just. I'm. I'm gonna talk here so that I don't have Alex interrupting me. I. The, the only part, like, she she went a bit too far beating Mac up, but he did enter Gabe's house with the intention of, like, beating him up quite badly, it seemed. Like, he was kicking him whilst he was down. He, he asked for what he got there. If he had just thrown, like, a single punch and Gabe had, you know, stayed standing... And then Alex had, you know, rammed him up against the against the door, flung him to the floor, and then beat the shit. Then I'd be saying like, okay, no, 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 that's that's going a bit too far. But Mac had he had flung Gabe to the floor. He was kicking him whilst he was down. Like you're asking what you get for there. You're asking for a severe beating there. I I we we're gonna need to explain to Gabe. We, we're gonna need to explain to Gabe something. As I said, either like, a hey, time in foster care was really hard for me, or we're gonna need to come clean. So, Left Flowers, calling volunteers to help with this year's Spring Festival. The sign-up sheet is on the east side of Left Flowers. Swing by to see what roles are still needed of a volunteer. Let's put together another great festival. Jed, the Black Lantern will be providing beers, as always. Aaron, the only reason to go. Charlotte, the art is coming along. Leth, I can't wait to display it. And then Leth flowers again. And special thanks to Diane at Typhoon, at Typhoon Mining, who has coordinated Typhoon's sponsorship of this year's festival. Diane Jacobs, it was our pleasure. Let's make this year one to remember. Again, again, Typhoon getting all up in the community. I'm going to choose to believe this isn't about me. Oh... Mike Lawler, enough with all the transplants moving here. I don't care if it's good for the economy. I miss Haven the way it used to be. Mac, it'd be fine if any of them knew how to drive. Ben, especially in the snow, Mike, or at night. Uh, Jed, 
Say, Mike, if I remember right, you yourself came out here from Jersey just a couple years ago. Mike, yeah, and look how downhill everything's gone since then. Steph, owned equals self. Yeah. Yeah, Mike. It's... <laughs> It's always the people who aren't native to an area who are just like, oh, why why are these people coming here? Why are they coming here taking our jobs, messing with the economy? And it's like, you're not from here either. Mate, what are you doing? <laughs> Dickhead. Like, no. No, no, no. I can see why Gabe fits in so well here. <laughs> Gabe, free drinks tonight at the blank plant at the Black Lantern to celebrate my sister's arrival. Jed, what the hell is wrong with you, kid? There most certainly are not. Ryan, it's too late. It's already been posted on the internet. Steph, getting lit for free. Jed, just try it. Riley, can confirm Alex is great. Can't confirm how she turned out so well and you turned out so you. Gabe, it's a nature-nurture thing. And then, yeah, that's that's the start of what we've read before. Okay. Ooh, hello. Both Ryan and Steph saying hi. Hey, Alex, this is Ryan. It was really nice meeting you at the record store. Looking forward to talking more later. Nice meeting you too. Sounds good. And Steph. Hey, Alex, it's Steph. Sorry I had to run out like a crazy person. Excited to meet you for real at the Lantern tonight. You too. Hey. Lovely. And still only two, two journals. Okay. Add our memories, the collectibles. I, okay, I have beef with the collectibles in this franchise. So in, in the first game, in Life is Strange 1, I missed out on one collectible. In Life is Strange 2, I missed out on two collectibles. Will I be able to get all of the collectibles in this game or will I miss three? <laughs> that is what we are gonna find out. Okay. Now, hello. 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 Oh. Um. There we go. But it looks like Mr. John Chen lives in Miguel County about six months after his arrival. Yeah, is, is there like a forwarding address on file? I'm sorry, sir. That's not information we retain. Thanks again for calling the San Miguel County Clerk's Office. Have a pleasant afternoon. No, 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 no. Hey, don't. <sighs> oh. Gabe was still trying to find dad when he got here. So they do have parents. I was wondering. I, I wondered if maybe their parents were dead and that's how they ended up in foster care. But no, that. The county clerk, I would assume that would be. Was maybe their dad in prison? I'm not, I'm not entirely sure. Hmm. Okay, greetings from Mexico. Looks like we've both had people trying to help us. I'm glad it made a difference for Gabe. Hmm. Gabe, got your letter yesterday. I'm doing just fine. If you ever need a reset, come down this way because holy smokes, the food is great and the drinks are even better. I'll never get tired of hearing how great things are going for you. Some days I think about our first meeting at the detention centre. Sure, you told me to fuck off three times, but I've never seen anyone listen so intently to every word I said. I knew right then that you'd outplay the hand you were dealt. Point is, you were the best kid I ever mentored. Don't forget it. Let me know how it goes with Alex. Hope you can find her. Love, Len. Smiley face. Okay, so Gabe ended up in a detention centre. Okay... How did he get this up here? Probably with great effort. Go on, why not? We'll have a little game. Okay. I'm awful at these. <laughs> I am absolutely awful at these. I'm gonna give it one go. Okay. Okay, so yeah, those are, those are the moves. Okay. Down. And 
There we go. I'm happy with that. How, how do you go down? Oh, is it only once you get all of them? Oh. I can't jump. <laughs> I did mention I'm really bad at these games. Oh, another one? Oh dear, oh dear. <laughs> Still just just one ledge. Just one ledge. Where are you going? Let's go down. Come on and jump it. Ah, you ho. Come on, I just need I just need that one last coin. That one, I'm gonna, yeah, I'm gonna, I'm not doing this. <laughs> when I say I'm bad at these types of games, I mean I really am very bad at them. Like, so bad. Okay, go, go, go. Still, I made it past the first level, and I'll take that. That's better than I normally do. And down we go. And let me just grab that. Okay, there we go. There we go. Straight shot. Go, go, go! <laughs> okay, this is pretty fun. Oh no, now we got the mine carts. Why have you done this to me? Why have you done this to me? Okay, no, I'm, 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 I'm done. I'm, I'm out. This is too much. It's too much, please. I want to go back to the game. I can't deal with all of the minecarts. Just take me out. There we go. Game over. I'll take my low score. Okay. Still, that's cute. That's cute. Gabe looks like he fits right in. Haven Springs Co. Uh, Sesquint Centennial Celebration. 1867 through to 2017. 150 years of community. Saturday, June 21st. All events free and open to the public. Town Hall, Silent Auction, 8 a.m. through 4 p.m. Antique Fire Engine Demo, 9 a.m. Mining Lecture, 10.30 a.m. to 11.30 a.m. Black Lantern Bar, Brunch Buffet, 11 a.m. to 1 p.m. And an Ice Cream Social, 3.30 p.m. to 5 p.m. I'll be going to them. Live Music, 6 p.m. through 11 p.m. Heritage Park, Family Games and Crafts, 11 a.m. to 12 noon. And then... Can I, to my fantastic wait staff, you've done Haven proud with your hard work and positive attitude. We made it, Jed. Oh, that's lovely. Very sweet. Oh, man. Gabe used to crush me. Jerk. <laughs> Still, good memories. Good memories, though, I'm sure. And Okay, we can't go upstairs. Fair play. Gabe always wanted a bike like this. And he finally got one. Oh, that's lovely. Ooh, hello. Is that a sword? I assume it's for when he takes Ethan LARPing. We didn't even get to finish the song. I know, I know. And I'd, I'd say that maybe you'll be able to finish it later, but... Uh, mm. <laughs> Charlotte made this? Gabe mentioned she was an artist, but I didn't realize he meant, like, professionally. I could never make something so personal. That is stunning. That is beautiful. Dad, I, I hope we get to see more of her art. I hope we get to see what other sculptures and, like, paintings she's done. Huh. You've really changed the art style since I read these. Mmm, son of lead. Must be Ethan's. Wonder how many times Gabe's been forced to play. 
I think he'd like that, though. Gabe seems like a really involved stepdad. He's, he's not like some people who are like, hey, I'm, I want to be with this lady, so I'll tolerate the kid. You can tell that Gabe really takes an interest in Ethan. Dino Racer 2, uh, Corythosaurus Cop. I think that's how that's pronounced. I don't know. Hmm. Wait, what? Is that a real live dead deer? Okay, so it it seems like Jed's taken on a bit of a parental figure in in Gabe's life. Because, I mean, look look at that. Look at that pose. That's like, a, I'm proud of you. I'm proud of your son pose. He wouldn't just let some, like, random, like, oh, he's just my boss, but we, we don't really hang out at all. He wouldn't let just, like, a casual acquaintance touch him like that. That's That's quite like a fatherly pose. Okay. Hmm. Holy shit. It looks like Gabe actually read this. Yeah, he seems like a good dude. The spacious embrace, responsibly parenting your independent child by animal... Animal, I'm so sorry, Annabelle. Anna, I, <laughs> it's really hot in the back room and I can't read. I'm so sorry. Annabelle Lightman... I don't know how to pronounce this. Uh, Ngoang, maybe? PhD? Chapter four is the most important. Let's discuss it over wine. I love you. See, oh, so, so they're sharing notes. They're sharing notes. Again, I, I, I don't know what their parental situation was like. Gabe's looking for their dad. It says a lot that the dad isn't looking for them. It shouldn't be the child's responsibility to find their parent. So I, I don't know what their parental situation was like growing, but, growing up, but it's clear that Gabe wants to be better. Gabe, brushing up on comics and art? Really going the extra mile for Ethan and Charlotte. Hmm. And what's around here? Hello. I'm really happy for you, Gabe. Oh, They look so cute together. Whoa. Looks like Ryan turned my brother into a model citizen. At least I held it together in front of him and Steph. Mm. Yeah, Haven clean up. He's, he's properly part of the community. Broadcasting straight from your local record store. Because how fucking cool is that? <laughs> Haven Springs, number one choice for indie rock. And I, I, I want to see what's in the fridge. I want to see what he left us in way of food. Ooh, okay, that's cool. That's very cool. Nice. And what is that? Sonic Asylum. <laughs> Lovely. Okay. Mm, the... Oh, God. Torch. Torch heat. I think that's what that says. Okay. Ooh. Right. I'm telling you. His story doesn't add up. He wants you. He's helping me get into college, baby. You know dudes can do nice things without the expectation of getting laid, right? A high school dropout? A guy who went to a fucking juvie? Wants to be your study buddy? What, out of the goodness of his heart? Oh my god, Mac, we're friends. There is nothing going on between Gabe and me. I... I just... Yes, a high school dropout can want better for their friends. I just... The... The fact that Mac is of the opinion, like, oh, you know, guys and girls can't be friends. They can't be friends. Like, that says more about you than you realize it does. Because by that logic, any woman you are friends with, you want to get into their pants. Like, that mentality says more about you than you realize it does, buddy. So Mac was reading Riley's text, boyfriend of the year. 
Colorado Institute of Technology, Miss Leth, your application for CIT's 2019 Summer Programming Launchpad has been reviewed and we are pleased to inform you that you've been selected to move forward to the interview stage. Someone from admissions will be in touch in the next several days to schedule your interview. Congratulations and good luck. Gabe, oh, it's happening. Please, please, please help me prep Riley. Oh. I mean, you're having a go at, at, I say you, I'm not talking about Riley, I'm talking about Mac. He's having a go at Gabe for being a high school dropout, for having gone to juvie. Here's the thing, he has real life experience. He has real life experience and colleges appreciate that. Colleges aren't just looking for people who have like, okay, they got this on their GPA, they studied this, this and this. Like, don't get me wrong, that's important. But they want people with life experiences. It's why you get mature students. People who have lived their lives and have decided, right, I've had my kids, I've lived my life, I've had my career. You know what, maybe I want to go to university. Maybe I want to go and get some education. Like universities value people with life experience. It's a smart thing her asking Gabe's help. It's an intelligent thing she's doing. And I, I Max a prick. Max a prick. I've already decided. I'm just like, we had one interaction. I don't like you, sir. Alex. Do I want to know? Guess I kind of gave Gabe the runaround, huh? Ooh. Okay. Oregon Department of Human Services, Child Welfare Offices, uh, Multnomah County, Loretta Vance, Program Manager, Child Welfare, uh, try program director Amy at 971-555-9890, but Loretta can be reached at 971-555-3721, Portland, Oregon, 97214, unable to release location. Alex placed at group home in Portland area, Sunnyside Valley House, uh, something street, child services, helping hands group home. Anita and Eduardo. They were one of the good ones. Oh. To Gabe Chen from Anita Morales, subject re looking for my sister, received the 24th of, oh my God, I don't do dates. May, June, July, August, September, October, November. There we go. It's, it's when their numbers, <laughs> it's when their numbers, I get them confused in my head. Hello, Gabe. Eduardo and I were very happy to hear from you. We are glad to see you are doing so well after all these years. Colorado is very far away. Sadly, it was difficult to keep talking with Alex after she was taken into the system and we don't know where she lives now. Here is the phone number for the agency. Maybe they can help you. Line only available third Wednesday of month. Damn, Jesus. Oregon Child Protective Services, 458-555-3578. Try Human Services, Child Welfare. We wish you luck in finding her best, the Moraleses. Uh, okay, so they, they were placed with them together, it seems. Yeah, we're happy to hear from you. I guess maybe, maybe this was when Gabe went to juvie. And then maybe child protective services stepped in because like a you had these foster kids one of them's did something to the point where they're in in juvie therefore we don't trust you looking after the other and so we're taking her maybe maybe that's what happened wow gabe's been looking for me for a while flipping heck 2018 portland not in phone book uh Ayin Chen, Alyssa Chen, Alex Chen, nope, a dude. Another Alex Chen, automated voicemail, follow-up, got through, not her. Another Alex Chen, old number, now some dude named Adam. Oh, okay. And then Alexandra Chen, no. Alexandra W. Chen, Alexander Chen, Alex B. Chen, Alex Q. Chen, and Andrew Chen. Flipping it.
I mean, that's that's one of the issues with having an incredibly common name. I have I have an extremely common name, both both my first and last name. Callista isn't my my real name, just in in case you you thought it was. Um, I won't say m what my actual name is. However, both my first and surname, like my surname is like in the top ten most common surnames in England, and my first name. It's it to be fair. My first name has fallen out of popularity recently. However, among people my age, extraordinarily common, extraordinarily common. Alex, common and gender neutral. Chen, I would assume that Chen is quite a, a common surname. I'm not one hundred percent sure though, but still, that he must have gone through so much to find her, and he did. He did eventually track her down. No way. Gabe has this photo too. Look at our parents. Mom's healthy. Dad's only kind of an asshole. Okay. So I'm I'm going to assume that she got sick and he went to prison. That's what I would assume here. Mm. Oh, hello. Hello. Oh, okay. We could Ooh. Oh, I think this is a reference to, to Chloe. I mean, I like what she's got on right now, although the orange is cute. Now let's let's stay with with what she had on originally. That's nice. Okay. Okay, so that's that's cool. Okay, now all we have left is to check our bag. However, I am just about out of time for this episode in the next one we'll get settled in but until then please remember to like if you enjoyed leave a comment below and if you wanted to subscribe it would be very much appreciated i've been Callista. thanks for watching and see you in the next episode